Hello everyone and welcome in. I hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're going to take a look into Leo's monthly love reading for October. In this message, we're first going to tap into the energies with the Romance Angel deck here. Then we're just going to jump right into the message. And in this message, we're going to look into your energy, Leo. We'll look into your person of interests energy. We'll see what's challenging this, what the outcome will be, and the advice guidance moving forward. I will clarify as well as pull a few oracle cards at the end. If it's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So let's see here, Leo, what we can see for you guys for the month of October in love. Please and thank you, Spirit. What does Leo need to see for October 2020? Please and thank you. Please keep in mind, guys, that the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. For information on energy cleanse kits that are offered, how to get entered into the drawing that we do here every month for free personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And Leo, if you like how I vibe, you like how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome and it does help set your intentions for future messages. Let your friends help you is on the bottom. Your side is coming out with healing family issues and trust. I feel like you're needing to trust your intuition here, Leo. And I feel like you are going through this healing process. Your person here is releasing their ex, and I feel like there may be a getaway you guys may experience. They may initiate this, or you may initiate this, Leo, um, escaping with each other for a little while, just the two of you. It's the sweet escape. So let's take a look here, Leo, and see. We're going to use the Spellcaster Tarot for you, Leo. Most important message for Leo Spirit. get the cards out and then we will talk about it. Leo, Leo, Leo. Ooh. Interesting, interesting here. Somebody's trying to get your attention. And I feel like there's multiple people trying to get your attention here, Leo. And I feel like this has come up in the past few readings for Leo. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. Once I do a reading, I don't normally remember exactly what the reading was about because I do so many readings. I do about four readings a day. And then I also have personal readings for clients that I do. So... Leo. There's multiple connections here. And I feel like a lot of these connections are very strong connections. That's the sense that I'm getting. The two of cups on the bottom of the deck tells me that there is one significant connection here. 
one connection that outshines the rest. There is a sense of competition here. These two cards especially tell me that there's like somebody competing or multiple people rather competing for your attention, for a commitment. So Leo choices, 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 and we're going to clarify all this in a minute for your energy though. We have the five of cups, we have the four of pentacles, and we have the devil energy here. So there could be overindulgence. Okay. A lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. Um, maybe there's some toxicity. I feel like this is a heavy decision for you to make, but I feel like there is some there's someone from the past that's holding you back or something from the past that's kind of holding you back, whether this is an ex um, that's holding you back or a experience that you went through maybe has, has some fear moving forward. But I feel like you're definitely withholding your energy and maybe even kind of trying to suppress those emotions with other substances for some of you that could be very true now i don't think that's the greatest thing but i'm not gonna lie my view on that is kind of an abstract view because i feel like if you go to a doctor and get medication from the doctor even though somebody benefit some people do benefit from that medication it's no different from self-medicating Whatever works for you works. That's what I consider all of this overindulgence, self-medicating, but you can overdo it. Like using too much or using too much of the medication, whether it's self-inflicted or not, can still be overindulgence. Now, for some of you, this could just be like overindulging in shopping or maybe even food, but there's some type of behavior pattern that's toxic that you're trying to cover up making a decision here. I also feel like, um, I feel like your past is going to try to come back here, Leo, and this is going to be surprising to you. This is going to like make you choose. I feel like them, you may choose your ex. To go back with your ex or to release all connections to try and release your ex as well or maybe they present this new opportunity to you the challenges definitely are the ace of wands with the tower so something's going to come in that's going to be surprising okay the outcome here is the queen of wands the 10 of wands. So I definitely feel fire energy is looking towards the outcome. So if you're dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Leo, Sag, this could also be you, but I feel like this is a very heavy energy that you're needing to work through. And again, we will clarify here. So let's get that deck out. For Leo, going to clarify. We'll get to the advice guidance moving forward here in a second, guys, um, because there's definitely a decision that's going to need to be made, whether that's between a person or releasing the connections here, Leo. So five of cups for Leo's energy. Please and thank you, spirit. Let's clarify the five of cups. I feel like there's somebody who you had once seen as a stable connection. And I feel like this turned out, this maybe turned out to be very toxic. Um, it turned out to be very stressful. There's definitely a new person coming in. Your person is the ace of pentacles, the eight of cups. 
the eight of swords so i feel like this new person coming in is definitely in alignment with where you're headed the energy that i feel for their energy is definitely earth energy it could be any sign they could just have earth in their chart taurus virgo capricorn Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Definitely a withholding of energy here. Here's that decision that needs to be made. I will say this, Leo. We have all queens present all queens front and center i do feel like you're kind of holding back from all energies though withholding your emotions um maybe even maybe even your time definitely taking space I definitely feel a need here leo to get in get in touch or back in touch with your needs Okay, what do you need to feel stable? What do you need to feel solid, secure, grounded? Find that within yourself, not with another person. I feel an energy here, Leo, of your person coming in and out. Okay, so if this is a past person that you've already dealt with, I feel like that's been a cycle that you've gone through before. Now, if this is a new person that's coming in with that same energy, I feel like it's still a cycle that you've gone through before, but it's definitely, you can see it right here with the clarifying cards, feeling rewarded, feeling stressed. That your person may walk away. There's definitely a need to get in touch with your needs, Leo, okay? If you want to see any positive movement forward, my recommendation is always and forever going to be you need to get clear on the outcome, not, not just with a person, but in relationships in general. So what type of characteristics, characteristic traits does your person exude are they tall maybe they have short hair maybe you like them a little bit thin maybe you like them thicker right maybe you like a person that takes care of themselves and always does their hair does their nails is always worried about their beauty maybe you're worried maybe you like somebody who's more of a homebody who cleans the house and cooks the meals and does the housewife of type of stuff you know, you have to get clear on what those characteristics are because it's going to help you to see who is in alignment with that vision. I do feel like coming up in October into November, there's going to be a decision that's going to need to be made, Leo, and it's going to be hard for you to make this decision. And I feel like it's because there's characteristic, there's characteristic traits in all of these people that you don't like. That's what I'm just going to be honest with you. There's something about each individual option that you have here that you're not okay with. So here's the thing though, it's like buying a new car. When we're getting ready to buy a new car, we kind of clear out our garage or clear out our driveway, make room, make space. We might even trade in our old car for the new car. It's like that. If you want that long-term commitment, you're going to have to make space for that. First, in your life, before you can be able to clearly decide, clearly see. And I will be honest with you, Leo, if 
a person is meant to be in your life and it, you believe it's one of these people, they're going to stick around for you to figure it out. If they don't, then they weren't meant to be. But you have to start putting yourself first and focusing on you and your needs being met, not the other person. Clarifying the devil is all lower vibrational cards. Definitely also a descending here, uh, going backwards, uncertainty, not knowing, confusion, conflicted energy, all of that stuff. You're the only one that can make this the proper decision here. It's your life. You have to decide. And you can keep trying to cover up your emotions with frivolous relationships or relations. And not focusing on the future. Or you can focus on your future and start moving forward in that. Clarify the Eight of Swords here for Leo. Mm -hmm. I could already tell that you weren't, you're not in alignment with your vision here, Leo. You're not in alignment with where you want to be, where you see yourself headed. And I feel like that's not going to be an easy task. You're going, it's not going to happen overnight. It's definitely not something. And I feel like you want a quick fix here. This isn't something that's going to take place overnight. Taking time to get clear on that vision is going to be beneficial because I feel like here, Leo, your past is going to try to come back here and you're going to have an opportunity to either repeat that cycle or choose a different path please clarify this ace of wands tower for leo this is the person that you had a very deep connection with or have a deep connection with you and this person coming together is going to be a surprise to you. Whether this is an ex or this may be a friend that you is a surprise that they had feelings. Maybe this is a um, person that's in your life currently that your friends have been trying to hook you up with and you are surprised that you guys started getting feelings. I do, however, feel multiple energies. Multiple energies are coming up here for sure. There's definitely a sense of multiple options, Leo. So I feel like that's what the decision is going to be. You can't, you can't dangle forever. Whoever you choose, Leo, I feel like you and this person are going to be maybe taking a trip, maybe getting away. I feel like you are kind of changing your perspective on relationships here. There's definitely a, sh a shift that's taking place. So be aware, okay, that the energies are shifting, things are changing. You have to kind of be... A little bit more gentle with yourself because you're moving through some heavy energy. Don't beat yourself up so much if 
you overindulge or if you go back to the past and entertain or you make a mistake, it's okay. We're all human. That stuff happens daily to everybody. So it's okay. Try to take the lesson from that. Okay. What lesson do I need to learn from that? So I don't continue to make that same mistake. Your advice, guidance, moving forward, we have the Queen of Cups, we have the Queen of Pence, the Four of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. There's definitely a need to guard your energy, protect your energy. And I feel here, Leo, that you're going to need to communicate and your needs right now are taking care of this healing process. Some may be on board. Some of these options may be on board. Some of these options may not. Which ones are you going to determine to determine and which ones aren't, right? You're going to know who your people are, Leo, by the people who bring calm, okay? They don't stress you. They don't worry you. If a person is causing stress, anxiety, worry, then that's probably not your person. You should probably have released that person so they can find their people. There are some people around you that I do feel cause a little bit of stress, anxiety that you are needing to release. That's going to be an indicator. You're going to have to trust your intuition a little bit better here, Leo, in order to, to continue this momentum forward. Let's get a few clarifying cards out here for the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pence, Four of Swords, for Leo. I am going to do an extended version, guys, to the reading. In the extended, we're going to take a look at what's your person's intentions moving forward here. Where is this all headed? What are the next steps? Take a look at the outcome if the guidance is followed. We'll pull out a few different oracle decks. If it's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. The link is below in the description box. So Leo, by being stressed, by being anxious, by holding on to those connections that cause stress, that cause anxiety, that cause worry, it's causing an imbalance in the situation. It's causing um, a little bit of chaos, okay? A little bit of um, fear is definitely holding you back. You're needing to bring the balance back into this. You're going to have to manifest the balance, okay? Whether that's releasing telling a person this isn't working, what have you, we, we just need to be friends, taking a step back, whatever you're going to do, you need to shift your energy back to Leo. And work on that fear. Maybe getting closure on the past. And, and really getting clear on where you vi where you can envision yourself going, right? What does that outcome look like? Where are you headed? Let's get a soul journey card for you, Leo. If you guys are finding that this message has been helpful, that it's resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. And it does help with the growth of the channel, getting the message out there. So thank you guys so much for that. You are all amazing. Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. By its very nature, the physical body is limited by the three dimensions. But your mind is free to travel without boundaries and merge with the cosmic consciousness. Your mind is the great creator and your imagination is its toolbox. Everything in life begins with the energy of imagination. 
thoughts are real and they can manifest themselves into the physical world. Train your mind to only have positive thoughts and you will attract positivity into your life. If you can see it, you can be it. Visualize the components that you want in your life and imbue those thoughts with love and they will become your reality. Conversely, if your mind strays to negative thoughts, you will only bring that energy to you. Be positive and loving. Imagination is creativity. Express yourself and let your imagination assist you in letting go of any creative blocks and allow your dreams to come true. Remember, you are not doing this for other people. It is your soul opening up and singing its own unique song. Imagination is linked to your intuition. I feel like there is a need here, Leo, to kind of open yourself up a little bit and tr trust yourself a little bit more. get a power thought card for the reading for you Leo my healing is already in process my willingness to forgive begins my healing process I allow the love from my own heart to wash through me cleansing and healing every part of my body I know I am worth healing my healing is already in process beautiful 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 leo so leo i feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this month thank you guys so much for all the love and support thank you for liking subscribing sharing the content you guys are all amazing again if you want to get in on the extended version the link is below otherwise thank you guys again so much and i look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon namaste